Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in the studio, I'm going to show you how to connect a Bluetooth keyboard to your PlayStation 4 so you can quickly enter a text message and send it to your friends or other players on the PlayStation 4. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So I went ahead and got this ultra slim Bluetooth keyboard from Walmart last night and this one is made by Anchor and this was $20 and I want this keyboard so I can go ahead and play the Elder Scrolls Online or Rocket League or just any other feature where I need to go ahead and enter text in on my PlayStation 4. Now for MMORPGs like the Elder Scrolls Online this is amazing. Now I really like this keyboard because it's so small and it doesn't have like the arrow keys on the side or the number pad. So I can go ahead and quickly just put it anywhere on my desk and it doesn't take up a lot of room compared to a traditional keyboard. So this one is also Bluetooth, which means it will not take a USB slot on the front of your PlayStation 4, which is very important because if you go ahead and connect your controller to your PlayStation 4, connect a headset, well, you're out of USB slots just like that. So it's nice to have something that's Bluetooth. Now you can go ahead and quickly put in the AAA batteries on the back of this and then go ahead and turn it on by switching this to the right to the on position. The most important thing with Bluetooth keyboards is knowing how to put them into sync or pairing mode. So for this ultra slim anchor Bluetooth keyboard, I have to press the FN key right here, bottom left, and then the Z key, which has a Bluetooth symbol on it. So when I go ahead and do that, and press both of these at the same time. This little light will start flashing on the top right, right here. That's an indication to me that this keyboard is now in Bluetooth syncing mode. Go ahead and read your user manual about your keyboard to know how to put it into sync mode because that's very important. Okay, so now let's go ahead and exit out of my game by pressing the PlayStation button, then going back to the home screen, then go up and over to settings then go down to devices then select Bluetooth devices at the top now go ahead and put your keyboard into syncing or pairing mode mine is FN plus Z at the same time and it should show up under this list automatically you don't have to start like a, a scan feature or anything it should just show up under this list now go ahead and select your Bluetooth keyboard now, if you are getting like some error where it says not connecting within the time limit, make sure you disconnect your keyboard from your phone or any other device that it's connecting to. Like um, I had this connected to my PlayStation 5 earlier, and when my PlayStation 5 was on, I was not able to go ahead and use it on my PlayStation 4. I had to turn off my PlayStation 5 to use this keyboard and have it show up under my Bluetooth devices and then have it connect to my PlayStation 4. So now this says enter the following pass key on the Bluetooth device and then confirm your entry within 30 seconds. So on your keyboard, type in the pass key. So this is 269198, press enter, and boom. My keyboard is now connected to my PlayStation 4. I can go ahead and move around the different menu press escape to get back to the home screen and I can press enter to enter back into the game. So on the other scrolls online, I just press enter to get into the text chat window and then I can go ahead and type my message, press enter and it'll display on my screen. So I also use this a lot in Rocket League and occasionally Modern Warfare or Warzone and this would be great for Final Fantasy as well. So if this video did indeed help you guys out, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 4 tech out videos coming up next on your six studios.